Hey, yo, yo, yo. This is the last of the series in the house, yo. Well, let's talk about like how rhythm X that they've been going up for like something bigger than that. That's a heavily fortune back in the day. You know, there's there's a lot of things we can talk about, like something awesome. You know, I haven't been in into some like rhythm X stations for like the whole time when I usually used to listen to it the whole time, like since I was a big fan of like when I was like um, 11 or so. Well, yeah, I don't remember. It's been a while when, when we listened to those. Well, especially like in one of my, one of my cousin's sides, they used to love to listen to those too. But since we're doing Asian days, and right now we use one of those phones to declare one of those best phones that we listen to, like on Apple Music or somehow, you know, it's it's been a long time because <clears throat> Apple Music has been been a hardcore whatever when they listen to all the great musics. With all Apple Musics, they they did it without radio stations since like when they listen to all those same old crap stuffs, you know? So here's a scoop. Rhythmic radio stations was born in like nineteen eighty six. But before that, hip hop started since like nineteen seventy nine and R and B like like those blue like rock and roll and R and B they never started since like nineteen fifty. They haven't started for a very long time when all of these musics used to be around like the whole time when when R and B was like a part of the the, the genre that used to be part of the, the the urban contemporary, you know. They've been had there for a very very long time before <clears throat> when radio stations used to be like friendlier when since the eighties. This is what happens when every station used to be part of the rhythmic before they were rhythmic. They were. There were parts of things when when they started up some like <clears throat> good things for hip hop and then good things for R and B. You know, there was a lot of initial initial stuff that been going up for all of those good stuff. So it's been a while, but hope you have liked to enjoy this video. It's pretty cool. It's they have some very good histories for a long time. Well, sometimes R and B usually join with pop, like back in the days since like the the 50s but in, within a radio station friendly where they were like radio radio friendly back then but nothing that's radio friendly at all since the 80s because all those uh, people there they keep using all those little ethical skills with all those best musics like like michael jackson janet jackson and then and then there was uh mary carey and then they did it with uh winnie houston and they did it with uh the classic R&B acts, like Bobby Brown, you know? It's been everywhere since the 80s. Earth, Wind and Fire, they were everywhere too. And Casey and the Sunshine Band, they were there too since the 70s. But, you know, you know, mainstream fans, they just, they just don't, they just don't like the rhythmic music, what they have to listen to. But it's kind of weird because people wanted, people said that they wanted it separately since the 80s, you know? It's, it's barely too much when when it's categorized for every music because, you know, people hate that when radio stations and whatever they were trying to be friendly. But this, it's not easy at all. So it's like the thirty years later. You know what I mean? But I know it's tough because you know there is a there's too many history generations that have been so far. You know, that's when baby boomers just love R and B, but like oldies. You know, but there's no. There's no sensation of decades when they started up some 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 crazy shit, but but there's no fancy crap in this mode because everybody else just love love the oldies and blessing musics, you know. They they listen to all those great words and they have to so far, but it's good because you know you have a you have the best present that you want to be in a, for entire love and pressure and. Overtaken by any girls like Elvis Presley, because Elvis Presley, he was the guy he he desires love in, in the radio station. You know what I mean? And so does Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. But Stevie Wonder was been there like the whole time, and so does Christopher Cross too. But but at the meantime, there's there's plenty of like eighty stars that have never been so successful since like the when they started the rhythmic radio station since nineteen eighty six because of all this. All this happened when they they pointed separate ways from the since when there were used to be like 
pop friendly radio stations, but 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 people are just getting tired of it because because R and B is such a, like a um, urban adult contemporary station, but you know people hated R and B. I'm like, but you should never hate R and B, but. But you should never hate hip hop neither, because you know, like hip hop is a—it's for everyone, you know. Everyone wants to rap or something, you know. Like, as a rapper of Z Class of the C, I want the, the, the stations to to get along and try <clears throat> try to expect us some, some good things, like it did in the urban days. You know what I mean? Urban days has been like they've been spent up some time for like the whole days, from the whole entire decades when they used to start up. You know what I mean? Nothing is easy if you want to have to be like successful artists and be more successful. Because, you know, in the 90s and 2000s, they were like heavily successful with hip hop and R&B the whole time. So that's the like in 2010s and 2020s. Well, everything gets popular, you know? But it's good because, you know, like you want to maintain successfully on your own with the with with hip hop R and B R and B more than pop and and mainstream songs that I used to listen to like rock, but rock is just not not a particular genre I've been listening to, you know. Well, but it's all right. But sometimes if you wanna if you wanna hate kind of music that you don't like, but it's fine. But what you do just recognition your music that you listen to, recognition your details of the music that you, that you love the most. You know what I mean? I know it's not easy to, to hate because we're part of the, the part of the love in each other that that we have us some good faith and and good rhythmics that you they have to do come and compare with all what are the, the good comparisons to pop musics, but it's it's not the same essential. But the my essential is is that we have to we have to make sure there is a there is a lot of good stations they need to provide something marvelous you know what i mean like something that's more expedition to any stations that who want to be in another radio station they can broadcast more you know what i mean like power 127 or wall 94.9 wall 6 came yell well those are those are like heavily stations they used to listen to in '86, but eh, that's not that bad, you know. I have no hate for all of the stations, but especially like the one of the oldest stations they used to be broadcast on for for years, but within years it st <clears throat> still goes on. Like Wildlife from Point Nine because Wildlife from Point Nine is awesome, you know. I can just get used to it to the whole stations like every year and every single. Every single day when I'm around with someone else, you know what I mean, or with my parents, or my sisters, or my cousins, but it doesn't matter. But <clears throat> all you have to do just stay on topic on something else that <clears throat> that you want to be focused on on the music, you know. But it doesn't matter. I, I stay on a task for the music, but but nothing that gets heard of all the, all the rest of the musicians that they come out so far. Because in the nineties isn't isn't climbing too much of when he was around in the two thousands music because two thousands is the twenty first century, you know, that's why they want to put it separate ways. But I know it's tough because, you know, there is, <clears throat> there is a lot of tough decades they able to listen to like the real stations today. You know what I mean? Like two thousands, tens and twenties. Still goes on. And plus the nineties and eighties they they curved it too much when they used to handle it in the radio stations to listen to. But that doesn't matter because it's 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 all rhythmic music, you know? All the rhythmic music has to be respectful and what did they have done for all those good explicit songs and or any ones that that has to be more performance, like like CeeLo Green or the others or Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and then also the Eminem. Ice Cube, Nivea, Sierra, Mario Winans, Mario, Chris Brown, Neo, Rihanna, Beyonce, Destiny's Child, Anne Marie, 
and many more talented artists like besides Mary Carey but I know there's a lot but we need to like make sure what's well, we have to be respectful of all those hip hop stars and R&B acts that that have been to the oldies. They've been to the the historic lineups the ones since nineteen twenty nine, since hip hop was born, or R and B too. R and B was been there too for like nineteen fifty. Respect that culture. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, guess that's it for today. So, I guess that's the history of well the rhythmic radio stations. So this is Eagle Eyes to see. If you, if you don't understand it, just look up the every videos on YouTube if you want to check it out. Or just subscribe me or make me a comment if you want. Try to see.